Senator Bovey. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the government representative in the Senate. Uh, and further to Senator Martin's um, question, Senator Gold, we all have seen cases where CRA is asking for full repayment of CERB by this December 31st. And it involves self-employed individuals whose work has been or continues to be uh, limited or completely ceased because of COVID. Many are representing, represent the lowest paid people in this country, uh, the working poor. And I too am told that the net versus gross did not appear on the application form. I've been receiving myriad messages expressing heartbreaking situations. One came from a 77-year-old self-employed man without a pension who obviously continues to have very little income as the pandemic continues to curtail his ability to work. He told me, and I quote, my government has gone from benefactor to Grinch in one fast train ride. End quote. Senator, for those affected by this, who earnestly applied and were encouraged to do so, is the government considering their plight? Is the government considering these cases in light of the confusion some have experienced with their CERB applications? Gold. Well, thank you for your question. And, and uh, of course the government is considering this. Everything that the government did in the Teach of Us programs was to benefit Canadians. And the last thing that this government uh, intended to do or intends to do is to punish Canadians uh, uh, who acted in, in good faith. That said, as I, as I, as I said I, uh, in response to Senator Martin's question, I will certainly look into it to, to make sure that uh, I have a proper grasp of the details before I finalize a response uh, here in this chamber. But I, I do need to remind the chamber uh, that what is uh, at stake here in the letters, or I say what is, what, what is being described in the letters, uh, is uh, that, that uh, recipients are being advised that there may be a requirement uh, to pay amounts received. Uh, it has suspended collections activity on any new debt during the crisis, and it will only resume collections when it is responsible to do so, and that's a, in general and in particular with regard to CERB payments. I also advise that the government has been making every effort uh, to work with taxpayers to resolve their debt and to do so in an appropriate and compassionate way, and uh, the government encourages uh, them recipients uh, to contact the agency uh, to develop a suitable arrangement based upon their ability to pay if indeed uh, repayment is required. Senator Bovey, did you have a supplementary? Yes, please, if I may. Um, uh, I thank you for that, uh, Senator. I am aware of people selling cars and remortgaging their houses to try to deal with this. Um, the Minister of Revenue has the authority to cancel or waive penalties or interest under taxpayer relief provisions. And the criteria for granting such relief, according to the CRA website, include extraordinary circumstances, actions of the CRA, inability to pay or financial hardship, or other circumstances. And as I've said, we're still dealing with COVID-19 across the country, and the situation for many of these people in my province is dire, as we're still under lockdown and will be into January. Canadians were told such misunderstandings made in good faith would be rectified at income tax time, which is March and April 2021, not Christmas 2020. So will the minister use her authority to grant some relief to those who realistically cannot generate such income in several weeks, especially in parts of the country where COVID-19 remains rampant? Senator Gold. Well, again, thank you for your question, and, uh, and I will make inquiries and do the, my best to get an answer in a timely fashion.